So an Omega male is the guy that's got both. He has both these slick moves and player-like skills, body language, but also high character. You ever notice when, uh, when you're not doing as well with women, your career is kind of so-so as well? You kind of feel like, uh, why am I doing this career? When you're doing great with women, you start doing better with your career. So once you are labeled, you are also safe. That's not sexy, okay? There needs to be a little bit of dangerousness to you, okay? And that is the prime core sexual driver in women. So if you've ever wondered, when do you start touching a woman? You know, when do you touch her shoulder and then touch her waist? And when do you kiss a woman? How do you know it's time to kiss a woman, okay? When you've gotten a, a lot of submission signals altogether. You ever, did a woman ever tell you, I really admire you, especially I admire what you do for a living. I admire you for who you are in what you do for a living. Or I believe in you, that's powerful stuff. If you've ever heard a woman tell you that, that's powerful stuff. You feel like the man, especially if she's hot. If she's not so hot, you're kind of like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel like getting back with a woman just after you broke up with her? Well, because she wasn't very good at doing step three while in the relationship. And breaking up with her, suddenly you have the very first challenge from her, is getting her back. I mean, at, at some point you gotta, you gotta realize um, nobody is going to provide you the woman of your dreams. Nobody cares to make you a star someday. Nobody cares if you go bankrupt or don't. Nobody cares if you like your job. You have to.